แม่แม่แม่แม่แม่This morning, the piece I've been hot and lost for a week or so that we've had some bucks on shore camp walking through. Yet to see a buck actually here, but I think I've only hunted it twice. They were fairly consistent, but I haven't checked that trail camera to see if it's still consistent. It's pheasant season now, so there might be some pheasant hunters through here through the CRP. I think some would be out working scrapes or cruising around, cruising through here, checking for a doe, and then hitting that bigger creek bottom that's down that way. Did you see anything this morning? Usually there's a few does hanging out that work their way through. They usually work their way through by now, so I don't know if I'm going to see anything this morning or not. It's November 4th or something, so we're obviously going to sit for a while and see what happens. Decent sit this morning. Saw that small buck, but nothing else running around, running through there. As you can tell, it's a little wet this morning. I've got a spot that I want to go check out and scout, so that's what I'm going to do now. Drive around, make sure nobody's at the parking lot, make sure nobody's in there. See if there's some sign leading in the, into there. If there's sign leading into there, we'll maybe hunt that tomorrow morning. So that's the plan now. Just got a little short drive to drive over there, and we'll do a little bit of scouting here mid morning in this rain.
Well, it's the Friday before rifle season here in Nebraska, so I wanted to get out this morning. Try to get one before the rifle hunters get everything all stirred up and crazy. This morning it's only been shooting light now, 20 minutes maybe. Just had a, I don't know if you call it a big spike or a small spike. It was just one-sided, I think, but just had one really big, like, spike on that side. First buck I think I've seen down here all year. Should be a good morning. Dad's out. Brody's out. One of us should hopefully see something. Hopefully shoot something. Set up in a spot where I snuck up on a small buck and two does about four or five days ago. That small buck was just kind of dogging that doe through here. A couple of fresh scrapes right through here. They kind of, two trails kind of converge right here. Set up in some cedars at the end of a draw. You'd think it'd make for a pretty good rut setup, given the fact that I seen them kind of rutting around in here. Some scrapes, a good pinch point, but ain't seen nothing yet. There's some evidence that maybe some deer are around, but nothing yet this morning. Just kind of died down for this morning. Heard a bunch of stuff crossing the river, running around. I think there was probably a buck chasing some does around. And then, not too long ago, had a doe and a fawn. Just, I mean, come right below me. I think I'll probably come back tonight. That's the plan, unless I talk myself out of it. There's still a lot of movement this morning, hoping maybe they'll be moving around this evening too. lunch back in the same spot I was at this morning. On the way out, about halfway out crossing the river, there was a really nice, really thick, heavy 4x4. And he went up and came in this way. And when I was walking in about, oh, 7,500 yards from the stand, I bumped something and that was him. I think there's a good chance we might see him again. At least fingers crossed, I'm hoping we see him again. A lot of movement this morning. Guess we'll see what happens tonight. some good movement this morning. Didn't happen until later in the morning, but I saw a couple small bucks chasing some does around. They came from this direction. I actually hunted right back here, probably less than 100 yards away. A couple weekends back and saw nine or 10 does running around in here, but no bucks. And there's a bunch of big deer tracks, buck tracks, down in this creek below me. I can see this side, this travel corridor, this travel corridor, up into the cedars and CRP, and back here into the swamp. So I'm in a really good spot, I think. Will I see anything? I don't know. Probably not, but I think I'm going to leave the stuff up here for tomorrow morning, even if I don't see anything tonight. But it seems like a pretty sweet setup, so hopefully we see something. There's some stuff running around in here. It's just a matter of being at the right spot at the right time.
แมะแมะแมะแมะแมะI was gonna take it. I'm gonna make the shot. I passed on those other bucks by being indecisive. I was decisive here. Got him stopped. Made the shot. Hopefully he's down. And didn't make it far, but him still, him still kicking there 10 or 15 minutes after the shot gets me, gets me a little nervous. So it happened fast, but hopefully we can get a good ending to this. Dad's coming down. Chance is coming down. Hopefully it's low. Still hit something vital, and we can uh, give him some time and get in there and get him. Well, as you can tell, it's light now, and it wasn't when we started, so things didn't go as planned last night. We found fairly good blood in there, waited a couple hours, snuck back in there, and ended up bumping him. He didn't go very far. He probably only went about 70 yards, but we ended up bumping him. Definitely broke that offside shoulder or leg, so he's not moving too far, but he was still kicking, so that's not, not what you want. So we had to wait all night, come back in here. Hopefully we don't have to put another shot in him. Hopefully just it kind of expired overnight, but we got some wind cover, so we'll sneak in close. If we got to put another shot on him, that's what we'll try to make happen. Kansas hunts or Kansas experience is done for this season. So hopefully you enjoyed Kansas a little bit, a little different than Nebraska, and it was a fun time.